Go. Hallå. Jag tänkte att det är You went, so I went, and then it was going to be on it because you went for it. I can't do it that well. Okay. Hello, Rachel. How are you doing? Hello, I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Good, good. And welcome to everyone watching. We're trying rums. Grab yourself a rum and join in. Done. Done, me do. Um, Done. So today we're trying Crusoe rum. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, mm. really, really sweet. Really sweet. Oh, I'm getting cloves, cloves straight away. Um, so their their taglines are they have a few taglines for this one. Taste the tempest itself, um, and uh, West Indian heart, East Fife soul, which I really like, um, and a legend reborn. It is a blend of five-year aged um, Barbados rum and an unaged Jamaican rum. Nice, cool. So it's Caribbean bottled in Scotland, basically. Yeah, yeah. So then they're bringing it over, blending it, and then they're um, adding Madagascar and vanilla, pineapple, and a secret blend of seven spices, which I'm guessing just from the smell that there's cloves and ginger in there. Definitely. Maybe a bit of an seed. They don't seem to tell us spices quite a lot of the time. It's always like at some point. Oh, it's a top secret blend. You can't copy their recipe. I know, god damn. Um, um, so yeah, they really released this during 2020 lockdown. Um, they say it's the best thing to have been released from lockdown in 2020. So I think that's good as well. Um, top competition there. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's based on... Well, they say it's based on the life of Alexander Selkirk, who was the inspiration behind Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe. Um, have you ever been to Lower Largo? No. No, it's a really amazing little um, seaside village town, um, which is connected to uh, London Links, where this is made. So it's two little villages that kind of merge into each other. Um, Absolutely, like so picturesque. Uh, but they've got a life size statue of this guy there, um, dressed in goat skin, I think it is. Um, because, yeah, this guy, um, Alexander Selkirk, he was from there, born in like 16 something. Um, and he was a Scottish privateer and Royal Navy officer um, who spent four years and four months. Um, as a castaway after being marooned by his captain on an uninhabited island in the South Pacific. How long did he stay in for? Four years and four months. Very still mighty. Yeah, when he returned to England, Daniel Defoe took inspiration from him to write Robinson Crusoe. Cool, yeah, cool. What an inspiration. <laughs> I know that's mad. Four years. Like, what would you four do? Four years what would you and do? four months. I know. We all, we all uninhabited he never saw a single person and it was he was left it wasn't an accident he was left there deliberately as some kind of punishment from his captain so what did he do he just survived off the land no but like why, why did they leave him there I, I don't know i couldn't find what he'd done actually but um i could look more into that but yeah he um he was left there and I imagine if, if you wanted if you were deserted on a an island an uninhabited island do you want something like this to accompany you Oh, definitely, definitely. For me, like the smell. See if you go like beneath the spices, it's really sweet, like jelly bean sweetness, like yeah. really, really sweet. I was going to say jelly. Definitely, and I guess a wee bit lower alcohol than some of the others, it's like thirty-seven point five. Um, and just tastes like sweeties for me. It just tastes like pineapple. Well, I haven't tasted alcohol. it yet. Slange. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, and then the spice follows. Pineapple sweets, that would be lovely, like an ice cream or something like some kind of tropical dessert. Mmm, now that just reminds me of getting a pick and mix when I was wee, like a penny sweet mix. I can't yeah. even think what sweetie that is specifically, but oh, that is so good. You'd have words with Sandra and Alan about that. <laughs> <laughs> it just tastes like pick and mix, pick and mix with rum. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, like just really, just um, really, really sweet, wee bit fresh at the same time, just mega, mega sweet. Mm. I think, again, like with a lot of the rums, they don't tend to tell you like an exact suggested serve, do they? they just like try it with what you fancy or have it neat. Yeah, yeah, which I think is kind of like what rum is like, really. We obviously, it's like the Wild West of spirits, like there's no rules. 
Mm -hmm. aged unaged aged color stripped out add whatever you like to it yeah and the rules that do exist are so different across different places so it depends what country you're in to what kind of rules there are yeah. in your room so it is quite a like you would say that quite often but a pirate's game oh. you can see why the pirates liked it no rules not given no rules. Um, so I don't particularly want to add anything to this, but I might add a tiny splash of pineapple juice, but it's quite nice on its own. I'm going to add a garnish of orange. I've added a wee bit of ice just to see how that does. I've added just oh. a tiny, tiny bit of pineapple juice. Oh, it's really good with the pineapple juice. Oh, it's like syrupy, extra syrupy pineapple juice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, on its own as well. And because the pineapple juice is a little bit creamy as well. Mm -hmm. so a wee bit like a spicy pina colada yeah definitely definitely it's I really like that one mm. and they make gin as well don't they um yeah they do so they make a lovely gorse gin and it is it is lovely it tastes like the smell of gorse which I love yeah. um and yeah they've brought out a few things since then as well I really want to try their newest one that they've just released is a peach gin oh I've seen that it's like they say something to a peach tea or something like that it sounds amazing I think it might I'm not sure but yeah it sounds absolutely amazing so I can't wait to try that one mm, so yeah, yeah. there are lots of interesting tasty things and that, that this is no exception this is really really, mm, really yeah I love that on its own I would love to try that like in, a, in a, some kind of like boozy dessert with like lots of tropical fruits and ice cream mm, that. like a tropical yeah. trifle yes yes well thank you very much for watching Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Empty glass, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below, and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media at The Grail Dune to keep up with all of our latest news, and visit our website www.thegrail.scot. Slange, and see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> You've got less naked to play with. So you have to go. <laughs> I have to go first. <laughs>